So number 15 says sketch the graph of log base 2 of x plus 1 minus 2 below. Mark two points explicitly as well as its asymptote. So when we learned about shifts and translations in the last section, right, all of those general forms we looked at still hold true. So log of x, right, has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. And what we've done here is this graph is taking log base 2 of x and shifting it one unit left and two units down. So that means if log base 2 of x has a vertical asymptote at 0 and I pick the whole graph and shift it left, well then the asymptote should move one unit left as well. So hopefully I'm going to draw using my red marker. I'm going to draw it right next to this line just so we can kind of visually see it on the camera. So there's the asymptote, but it's actually at negative 1. I'm just drawing it because this line's pretty thick and you won't be able to see it. Right? So there's my asymptote that should normally be here. It gets shifted over 1. Then we know that log of 1 is 0. Right? So the point 1 comma 0 is on this graph. Well, if the whole graph is shifted to the left one, then if I shift 1, 0 over one point, it should be through the origin, right? But then it's also shifted down 2. So the new intercept Oops, let's do it like this. Point one zero moves, right, one unit left, so its new x-coordinate is zero, but it moves two units down, so its new y-coordinate is negative two. So if I go to zero, negative two, that point is right here. Now it asks me to mark two points, okay? So we actually want to take advantage of the base of this log to find the second point. So you can always plug 0 in and get a 1. But I also know that log base b of b equals 1. So the question is, what value of x can I plug in here to ensure that I get a 2 inside of there? And the answer is going to be 1. So if x equals 1, then I get log base 2 of 1 plus 1 minus 2. Well, log base 2 of 2 is 1. And 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So that means point 1, negative 1 is on my graph. So if I go to 1, negative 1, right, there's another point on the graph. So we found, we, we found one point, right, by moving its original x-intercept, shifting over and down like the graph said. We found a second point by taking advantage of the property that any log of its own base, so I just found a value x that would turn the inside expression into a 2 to match the base. And then we could actually find a third point because it doesn't specify which two points and it can be really challenging, right? There's three obvious points you should be, um, you could check for, right? The log base B property, shifting the known original asymptote, right? We could also figure out, well, where does this graph cross the x-axis now? And so if we set the graph equal to zero, right, I could look for its x its x-intercept, and I could say, well, if log base 2 of x plus 1 minus 2 equals 0, then log base 2 of x plus 1 equals 2. I can raise each side over 2 and say, well, x plus 1 
equals 4, so x equals 3. So that means 1, 2, 3, point 3, comma, 0 is another point we could find. And now we know the general shape oops, of a log equation. So now I could sketch the graph. So you only had to figure out two of these three points, but I wanted to show you these are the three obvious things to check for. We always know where the on the base graph where the original x-intercept is, and you can just shift and move it. We could always set it equal to zero and solve, because algebraically we have the tools to do that. And then we could also take advantage of this property and just try to find a value of x to plug inside that gives you the base, so then you could come up with some nice uh, clean points.